special bikes, 66 tooth chain rings, pink jerseys, and a big time trial was all the talk on day seven of the Giro d'Italia. Starting in Foligno, going through Spello, having a couple of intermediate time checks on the way, and in the heart of Umbria, finishing in Perugia up a very nasty hill, this was 40 kilometers of time trialing with a real sting in the tail. Over 400 meters to climb, the longest time trial in the Giro d'Italia for nine whole years. And the early time was set by Dan Haller. As normal at this time in a Grand Tour, not everybody was going for it. Haller certainly put in his best effort. The first big attention was on the Italian champion. Filippo Ganna, the big pre-stage favourite, would be off and looking for a seventh Giro d'Italia stage victory down the years. He's a former wearer of the pink jersey, a victor of five Giro time trials before today, but he was given not a helping hand at all at the start, a very unwise hand out. A shake of the head, but it didn't faze him thankfully too much. Ganna quickly settled in. Miguel Biel was given the all clear to go for it too. He was vying for the final Danish Olympic place. Ganna was ahead at the intermediate checks. But with the GC riders still to come later on, would that be enough? The wind conditions were said to favour Ganna. The final hill naturally probably wouldn't. Milesi had set a time of 53.56, but he saw that beaten by Biel. The Dane going 16 seconds quicker and briefly into the hot seat. At this stage, Ganna was on the final climb. Six kilometers all the way up to the center. Addy was coming in with the clock green and for a good while yet. This would be a time that would take some beating. The question is, would it be beaten? 52.01, the main mark. It looked almost out of reach. Magnus Sheffield was trying to beat his teammate. He was 35 seconds down at the bottom. Max Schachmann, despite being behind at the intermediates, would look very good at the final finish line. Still not good enough to take the win. A provisional second place at 47 seconds down. He was beaten out of second place by Sheffield, riding the longest time trial of his young career. 32 seconds down on Ganna. There was a pattern developing. Ineos Grenadiers were dominating. Geraint Thomas was still to come. Tehman Ardensman increasing the Ineos presence at the top. They had a 1-2-3 by the time the top three were to start. So to Martinez, Thomas and Pogacar. 46 seconds between Pogacar and Thomas. A further one second to the third spot on the podium occupied by the Colombian national champion. Pogacar in pink and ready to go. Another change in the fashion show. The shorts this time given the all clear by the UCI. A week of silly wrangling away. Thankfully, all cleared up. Pogacar was looking the part. Not just in the fashion stakes, he was riding well. Danny Martinez coming into the check 120 odd down. Garrett Thomas almost a minute down. But it was the difference between the GC riders themselves that we were looking out for. Pogacar eight seconds quicker than Thomas. Looked as though he was going ahead, but not by too much. Luke Platt, despite being in the breakaway the day before, rode really well. And he was going to put pressure on those in the top 10. Started the day in 15th. He was on his way up into the top 10 and putting pressure on Erte Brooks in the white jersey. Martinez Tiro fall down at the bottom of the final climb, but he was approaching his big terrain. Thomas won 27 down. Where was Pogacar? That was the next question. Each of the big favorites going apart at three minute intervals and Pogacar was starting to fly. 47 seconds down. It looked like Ganna had the stage wrapped up. Erte Brooks finished at two 38 from Ganna. That meant he would lose the white jersey. Martinez had made a lot up on the hill. Maybe some hope for both Thomas and Pogacar. 132 down on the final time and a top 10. 
Ganna telling Pogacar to slow down. Thomas wasn't speeding up, though. And his time, meaning that he would go below Martinez on the podium and drop to third. And Pogacar was going supersonic. He was making more time up, climbing the climb quicker than anybody imagined and celebrating amazingly over the finish line. Ganna looked like he had it won, but no box office return for Top Ganna this time. It was Pogacar in pink, and from him it was perfect. Putting a lot more time into his GC rivals. Two minutes into Thomas, and leading by a very healthy margin after seven days. A second stage win of the Giro d'Italia. Beating the homeboy Ganna by 17 seconds. Sheffield was third with a very good result. Arnensman and Schachmann in the top five. Thomas's 10th place at two minutes and a redesign of the GC, but no change at the top. Tadej Pogacar continuing in the Maglia Rosa. Now a two minute 36 lead over Dani Martinez. Thomas at 2.46. O'Connor up seven places to fourth and Luke Platt riding very well into the white jersey. Next up a mountain stage, there is no rest for anybody at the Giro d'Italia. And riders who lost time in the time trial, if they can find the legs, will be looking for the breakaway. Certainly those further down and further off, it's up and down all day. Another big stage of the Giro, you can watch it on the home of cycling, on Eurosport Discovery Plus, and if you're in the US, on Max.